What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Sheer Force Landers and Forgraph team that was actually used to get rank 1 on the Regulation E ladder. You guys ready to know the deal? If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But if you guys want the Poke page for this team or want to see this team more in depth, Make sure you head down the link in the description below. I'm going to be trying more and more to actually leave Poke Pace for you guys as much as I can. Sometimes I won't have them, so sometimes it won't be down there. But if I do have them, I promise you guys I will be leaving them in the description down below. But the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be Rulabu. He's got Grassy Surge alongside with the Miracle Seed. He's also rocking Grassy Glide, Taunt, Wood Hammer, and Fake Out. We got the Dark and Fighting Urshfu in our second slot with the Unseen Fist and a Focus Ash as his item, so it doesn't die out in one hit to all those fairy type Pokemon. It's got Wicked Blow, Detect, Close Combat, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Heatran's in our third slot, and you really can't go wrong with Flash Fire Heatran in this meta format. It's got Assault Vest as his item, Rocket Magma Storm, Earth Power, Heat Wave, and Flash Cannon. In our fourth slot, we got a Heavy Hitter. We got Life Orb Sheer Force Landers. This one's got Sandseer Storm, we're double hitting move, Earth Power, you want to actually get a bit more accuracy out of your Earth move, and we got Sludge Bomb and Protect for our final two. Frigograph is rocking out in our fifth slot, and Frigograph is good on two sides of the field. It's good for countering Trick Room or setting up Trick Room. It's also good with the special attack inside of the field, considering it has Hyper Voice and Throat Spray. It's other three moves consist of Helping Hand, Trick Room, and Psychic, and then obviously it's got that Armor Tail as its ability to stop any first turn priority moves that we that we're gonna have to worry about in today's video. Iron Bundle is in our final slot, and this is a Pokemon you really can't go wrong. Super fast, hits like a truck at the same time, truck Cork Drive with the booster energy as its item, and then Protect, Freeze Dry, Icy Wind for a bit more speed control, and then Encore, which is a move that actually comes in handy in a lot of different situations. Guys, if you wanna run the team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this number one ranked team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against an Annihilate team, and Annihilate has always been a problem for me. I've always struggled to play up against Annihilate. Hopefully, in this battle, we get to actually dump on it and get Rocknear with a W, but they also got Sinisha, they got Screens Grimmsnarl, who they probably want to set up and then put Annihilate behind, and then the Rock and Arcanine, they got, who is that? What is that Pokemon name? Uh... I can't even think of it. Spectre Air and then Ogre Pond. So I could go Little Boom turn one because I can always fake out with it and it's not too shabby. Or I can go in with Iron Bundle. Who do I want to go out with? Because they're probably setting up screens, right? Screens is probably the most likely thing to actually happen here. So I'm going to end up going into you. And I definitely want to go into some sort of Earth food because if I can just go with Wicked Blow, I can do some big time damage and really just rip through the screens and any Intimidate. So you know what? I'm going to end up going both of them. I'm going to bring Life Orb Landers to the back end and then last but not least have the Iron Bundle. I like it. I definitely like it a lot. I was going to say we could lead Rollaboom and just potentially taunt the Grimmsnarl turn one, which is definitely an option, but still, then it would still get off at least one screen and I just don't think it's worth it. I could have went Rillaboom for the fake out, fake out Grimstar, because chances are they're probably leading Grimstar. I really hope they're not leading Grimstar, but they gotta be leading Grimstar, right? They got to be leading Grimstar. That's what's so good about Urshfu, is having that guaranteed critical hit. I know what's called has it too, Miascarada, but is just a little bit better in the meta as of right now. But there's Grimstar, there is Annihilate. And from here, it just seems like we should just, maybe just Heat Wave here. Instead of flash cannon, because I was gonna flash cannon the Grimstar slot down, but I mean, if you're setting up screens regardless, is there really a point of setting it up or doing that? Yeah, you know, we'll still get off some big time damage. We want to rasslize you, actually. We might want to rasslize you into a nice fairy type, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't want to take too much damage to Drain Punch. And actually, I'm gonna switch it to Heat Wave. So I'm gonna go Heat Wave. I'm just gonna go Wicked Blow right here, and I'm gonna put it into the Annihilate slot. So if it protects, it protects. If it doesn't, we're still hitting it pretty hard. So we'll see what they're gonna do. We got Focus Ash, which is beautiful. Drain Punch is scaring me just a little bit, but I'm Trasalizing the Fairy. Just so if you wanna go for Drain Punch in the Heat Chain slot, it's not taking crazy damage. 
The Little Rasselize here, I knew this was going to be a problem. Annihilate Grimmsnarl, it's always a problem. It's always a problem. Annihilate's just so good, especially behind screens. The Light Screen's going to get set up here turn one. That's totally fine. It's my play by him. And we're just going to drop a Wicked Blow and do as much damage as we possibly can. And half damage, we like that. We like that. Drain Punch coming out here, and this is exactly why we Terrastalize. Exactly why we Terrastalize. <clears throat> That's big time. So now we get to pop the Heat Wave. It connected with both, which is beautiful, and it gets off some nice damage. So from here, we can now switch into Flash Cannon and send it over to Grimmsnarl, because if Annihilate protects, Wicked Blow is still going to KO it. It's just going to go right through it. But I want to see who they can potentially swap into to kind of dodge that. And looking at their team, nothing really works out. Nothing really works out at all, so I think that works perfectly. We're just going to go into Wicked Blow. We are just going to pop a nice little Flash Cannon, and we're kind of just hoping Annihilate protects, forgetting that we can actually hit through protects. Love it. Love it. So solid, solid lead for us. I like our lead. I like our lead, and even better was our Terror type there. Because if we did not Terrastalize that Heatran, that Heatran would have took massive damage, and on top of that, Annihilate would have gotten back even more HP. So big time Terror for your boy. Fairy type going clutch. Come in and clutch. But I do have light screen up. I mean, they don't have reflect up, but it doesn't really matter too much. We get rid of the annihilate, which is perfect, beautiful. Get that thing out of here. Not trying to deal with it. And group star might parting shot, or it could just set up a reflect here. Actually, it's not setting up a reflect. Well, it's not going for parting shot. It's dead. It's dead. We're just getting a crit. Awesome. So I was going to say, as prankster, those moves would have came out first. So I guess I was just going for a spirit break into my earth food slot. And good thing I popped a nice little crit with heat train. Get rid of that, no problem. Shrug it off the shoulders, you know? <laughs> Get it on out here. Intimidate comes out here. Again, I have no problem with Intimidate. Um, Ogre Pond's also going to come out here. And we're fine with that. We are definitely fine with that. We change to a nice little Terror type. And then from here, uh, Earth Power would actually rip into you. So I'm going to do that. We'll drop an Earth Power. And on top of that... We're just going to Wicked Blow into the So again, solid turns for us. We still have Focus Dash, don't we? On Urshifu? Yeah, we haven't been touched. It's beautiful. It's lovely. They might put on the mask. It's definitely an option. It's definitely an option that they do put on the mask. But I know they have Light Tree now. And with the, our two back-end Pokemon, I kind of really like where we're sitting. Because Ogre Pond's not a threat. We have a faster Pokemon with Iron Bottle. With a super effective move. And then, who else do we bring? We brought uh, Ogre Pond... Why can't I think of the last Pokemon? It's not real. Who did I click? I can't even think of it. And it's kind of annoying me. But we'll deal with it when it comes. It really bothered me that I can't even think of it. It's whatever, though. But they're going to Terrastalize Ogre Pond. Urshfu's still ready to hit like a truck. We love it. And we're actually outspeeding it, which is awesome. And doing awesome damage to it. More than half. I feel like if you're doing more than half damage to any Pokemon, it's always a good turn. It's always a solid turn. He's gonna end up going for an Ivy Cudgel. East Speed might be able to KO us. That's oh, never mind. Just gonna go for a Flare Blitz. I was gonna say because I would think that the that the uh, Ark and I would go after the Heatran and then just East Speed me next turn. But he ends up just taking out my Earth Shield. We're totally fine. It takes some recoil. Earth Power is gonna get cooking here. Could deal some nice damage. Beautiful. Awesome. Four times super effective. And that's the last Pokemon, Landris. Landris is here to play. Cool. So now we can just go into you, and I feel like it's wraps after this, right? Nice big freeze try. We can go for a heat wave if we want to to finish off the Arcanine, but I think just going for Earth Power is probably the smarter play. Definitely the smarter play. Yeah, Earth Power is 100% accuracy. So we're just going to go Earth Power here. I'm going to pop a nice big freeze try. We have speed. All that they have is like a first turn priority move. And it's going for Spiky Shield. So if I had to guess, it's Spiky Shield East Speed here, right? No, you don't go for East Speed. Oh, you might be actually... It's getting a little ugly. I don't like this. Rock Blast. It's going to KO us, isn't it? Only if you're loaded dice. Please don't be loaded dice. Three. You're definitely loaded dice. Can you stop? Are you done? Yeah. 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 We survived. Okay, cool. So that wraps up. I, was, I got scared for a little bit. I got real scary because I thought it was going to be head smashing as that would have just KO'd us. But Rock Blast, we're able to soak up. And even at that point, even if uh, we would have died there, I feel like we still would have been able to win this battle. Even just with Heat Train. Heat Train would have been ripping. And Lando. 
But I'm just gonna pop free stride. We outspeed. Mass number one. Go into your boy. Not yet. Not yet going to your boy. Hold up. Wait a minute. This ain't over yet. I thought free stride would easily KO. I really did. Earth power coming out here. And now free stride should be able to KO. This is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Hold up. I, I thought I thought I thought uh, free shot was KO in regular. I know he's got Lage King, but still I didn't think that was that much damage. This Ogre Pond is boosted on special defense as well. Hold up. Hold up. Free shot, can you finish this one off? Alright, now we can now we can say we won the battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 to get things started. Let's go hop to our second match. Let's go back to back and start things off 2-0. We're moving on to our second match in today's video. We're going up against a pretty cool team. They got Komo -O alongside with Hisuian Arcanine. They're rocking one of my favorites with Titar and then three heavy use meta boot. They got Rillaboom just like us. They also have Iron Bundle just like us, but then they're also rocking out with Fluttermoon, which is always a tough time. It's always a tough time, but I definitely like Heatran here. I feel like Heatran has a lot of value, especially with Flash Fire. So I am going to end up bringing Heatran, but for my lead, I could go into Iron Bundle. I think Iron Bundle is not too shabby. I could also go into Lando, which is not bad either. Love me some Lando. Love me some Lando. And I might end up leading Lando. I just think Lando is just such a good Pokemon all around. Um, they also have Iron Bundle, always a threat. What's your Terror type? You're poison, right? You are poison. I could go into you. And I am going to end up going into you. And then bring in Heatran in the back end. And then either Iron Bundle or Urshifu. I kind of like Urshifu here. But at the same time, I like Iron Bundle. Hmm. So Iron Bundle is going to be super effective on the Konamo. -O, the uh, Iron Bundle itself. The T-Tar. No, not the T-Tar. Or not the... Uh, we don't have a Butter Move. But this thing's going to be... I like you, actually. I do like Urshifu. Being able to have first turn priority. A, uh, a critical hit move as well. Alongside with the fighting. We got, we'll be super effective with the fighting move onto the Iron Bundle, the T-Tar, the Landa, or not the Lando, the History and Arcanine, which is good. And then also Sucker, being able to Sucker Punch Fluttermane late in the game. Pretty powerful, right? So, we'll do that. They're going to end up going Komo -O and Rillaboom, so they have a fake out option here. Um, I think, hopefully, my Rillaboom can just outspeed. Oh, but that kind of does me dirty right there. I was going to say, we could just go for Sans here Storms, but Sludge Bomb could do some solid damage. And let's see how fast you are. You're mediocrely really fast. Their Rillaboom Boom probably outspeeds us, to be honest with you. But you know what? I'm just going to try to go for a Sludge Bomb here. And then just fake out the combo. If we can, right? Hopefully we can. So my fake out actually comes out first. I could have faked out the Rillaboom Boom if I wanted to. I mean, I'm just doing that. So Lando's going to flinch. Como is going to flinch. We move on with our life, right? We get back some HP here. <laughs> and you got leftovers as well? Okay, so this thing's looking to actually just kind of get after it, right? I see you, I understand. Uh, I'm thinking of just terrestrializing, going poison type, just ripping sludge bombs. And then maybe just taunting him if I can. The question is, is he going to be able to outspeed me? That's something that I don't want to happen, but I'm still going to go for the taunt here. Gonna end up withdrawing Rillaboom. So Rillaboom's gonna get the withdrawal here. I am Terrasalized at the same time. You're gonna go into T Tar, which is a little annoying. A little annoying, not gonna lie. You know what to go into lie, because Sandstream's gonna kick up here. And I'm gonna Terrasalize into a nice little poison type. Which is okay. It's I. It's I. I'm hoping Rillaboom can outspeak Kota Mo. -O. I don't think it does, to be honest with you. But. If I can get off a taunt onto that thing, that would be awesome. But he's gonna end up terrestrializing Komo as well. To maybe steel typing? What you got cooking here? Yeah, you're gonna be straight steel. You're gonna be straight steel. So honestly, the Sands here storm would not be bad. Would not be bad. Sludge Bomb's gonna come out here. I wish this was on the road because I hate dealing with the worms. And we're doing about six damage. Can we poison though? No, no poison. And Taunt comes out beforehand, which is massive. So if you're going for a Clangor Soul, we just stop that right then and there. Going for Iron Defense. Yeah, you knock that off. We're not dealing with that. We're not dealing with you Iron Defensing up. Cool. So Taunt coming up big. Um, T-Star coming out here up against Robin's a little odd, right? It definitely is a little odd. 
And I think at this point we just go for another Sans here storm. And then could go for Grass God, or now would be a good time to swap, maybe like Heatran. It could be a good turn to swap in Heatran. Because are they really gonna leave T Tart in here? Like that? Probably not, right? I think we just swap our robe in here. Save it for later. I really do. We're gonna swap our robe in. We are gonna go into a lovely little heat train here. And he's just gonna stay in here. Sansier Storm is going to miss the combo, which kinda sucks, but we get off some big time damage on the T-Tar. I'm actually surprised that this T-Tar is just kinda staying in here. But another Sansier Storm will take out the T-Tar. I wish this move was 100% accuracy in the Sandstorm. It would make sense. Now Body Press comes out here at the worst time. And Ice Punch on top of that, which we're able to soak. Lovely people. We're able to soak that up. Lander's going to take a little bit of buffets here. Um, okay. I don't mind that. Now it's just going to be another Sandseer Storm turn. And on top of that, I was going to say we protect, but I guess we'll go for a Heat Wave. If we die, we die. Not that big of a deal. I really want it Heatran for later, but of course this thing's going for a body press into that slot. So Sansier Storm is going to double connect. It's going to take out the T-Tar. Leave Como on 1 HP. I do not think Heatran's uh, outspeeding, but I could hope, right? It's not. So body press is going to finish that off. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. So mistake on our end for swapping, but I really did not expect that Komo to drop, start dropping body presses right into that uh, into that uh, Robin slot, right? Wasn't really expecting that. So Sansier Storm will finish off Komo next turn, which is massive. Um, they could bring back out Robin, which is definitely a possibility. I would think that that's what would happen. And Konamo is going to shake off Taunt. So from here, I'm just going to go into... And at this point, who are you going to fake out is real question. At this point, we double down into the Komo, right? You're going to go into Iron B. So Iron B comes out of here. Good thing we did Terrasalus. Iron B comes out here and he's faster than everybody. Chance here Storm is going to be our move. And they already Terrasalized, so we might as well just go for close combat and try to finish that thing off, right? Yeah, I, I get down for that. I could definitely get down for that. Because Sansier Storm will hit both sides, which is good. He's going to end up with Jaw and Kodomo. Oh, okay. And if you protect the Iron Bundle, we're still ripping with uh with close combat. And then Buffets can finish you off if you are sashed. And he's going for Hydro Pump, which sadly misses. Feel bad for him. Sansier Storm dropping again. Bop. And that's taken out. That actually works 10 times better. Sansier Storm takes out the Iron Bundle. And now close combat is going to slide over. Hitting onto the Robin, which might actually KO, right? Oh, yes, sir. Give me that. Give me that win, baby. Making it too easy for me. Making it too easy. But this team is so nice to use. It's such a powerful team. This team is so powerful. I've been dude, I've been ripping on the rank ladder as of recently. I think the past two videos we went 3-0. And now we're sitting 2-0 here. Massive victims here. We haven't used a Frigoraph yet, but I kind of want to try to get rocking with it in match them. Definitely want to try to get rocking with it in match them. With them. But, dude, absolutely insane how strong this team is. And how strong Sheer Force Landers is. So now Komo -Oh comes back out here. I can now just pop another. Actually, I'll go for Earth Power. That's higher accuracy. And at this point, we'll just close combat. Actually, we could just Sucker Punch to finish this off. No problem. The battle was canceled. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0 and oh to get things started. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Looking to go 3-0 and oh in our third and final battle. We are going up against a Cornerstone Ogre Pond team. Alongside with Tornadus, Fluttermane, Urshfu. Golden Go and Landris for Intimidates. So they have Lando just like us, but in the other form. We got our Sheer Force special attacking one, which has been thriving out in today's video. But I think they're going to lead Tornadus. I think that's definitely a possibility for lead. And same thing with Golden Go. I could see them going both ways with that. Because they might think that we're leading a fake out user. Which I could. I could lead Real Boom and go for the fake out user. But they just have too many ghost types. I just think leading Real Boom or even bringing Real Boom isn't going to work wonders for us. It could actually uh, up against Urshfu, so I might bring him. We'll see. We'll see. But I think for our lead, I could just go Frigograph here. I could go Frigograph and just slow things down, right? Alongside with Heatran would not be bad. I actually kind of really like that. They, again, they have a fast team. And then I think we go Urshfu and then either Rillaboom or Lando. I'm kind of leaning towards Lando here. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Lando. 
and I clicked the done button, so we better have those four Pokemon. I seen the timer like at like one second, so I was like, I gotta click, I gotta click. But I did click the done button. You guys can replay it if you want. It makes the sound and everything. So I better have the Pokemon that I choose. I better not just be leading Rollaboom and uh, who's our second one? I don't even know. But yeah, if you don't pick a time, it just leads your top four Pokemon. It brings all four Pokemon. So that's a good thing when team building. It's like, hey, you better your top four Pokemon better be a solid set. But they end up going into these two, which I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. We're gonna pop Trick Room here. I think this is a simple play. Um, I could Terrastalize. Do I want to Terrastalize? Do I want to Terrastalize you to fire? That's not bad, but I think we I think we just pop Trick Room, correct? Trick Room, and we just go for we go for Magma Storm. I think we just go for a heat wave here. Get some guaranteed damage off. Almost guaranteed damage. But they're gonna end up Tarasalas in turn one. The Golden are you steel type? You are. See, I definitely should have once you I definitely should have for Graph and a straight fire. Liquid Storm's gonna come out here. Furgraph's gonna take a little bit of damage, and I think Furgraph's gonna die out here, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I should have Tarasalized to Furgi. Definitely should have. Can he soak this? He don't, but he trained soaking pretty well. Okay. I mean, I don't mind that. Now they might set up a Tailwind, but Ferrigi's going down for the count. Heat Wave's gonna fly. It's gonna double connect, which is massive, and deal some big time damage. So from here, I could just bring out Lando. I could bring out you and just suck your punch. We have options. I mean, I have Focus Ash on you, too. Hmm. I'm gonna go into Lando, and I think I'm just gonna protect this turn. So I don't want him tailwind and get it off, make it rain, doing some big time damage on him. Okay, so bad play on us to not terrestrialize that last turn. I think we definitely should have. So we're just gonna pop another heat wave. We're just gonna protect Lando. I think possibility there's a big possibility that they just tailwind to go for another make it rain before the golden gun dies out. And yeah, that's exactly what they did. So that's exactly why I protected Lando. I knew Heatran wouldn't take that big of damage to this. So being able to dodge just make it rain and hopefully landing our heat wave would be a solid play for us. It's probably our best play we can make. Yeah, because look at that, like six damage. Six damage, get the thing on out of here. Heat wave's gonna double connect again, beautiful. It's gonna get rid of the golden go. It's gonna bring Lando or uh, Tornadus down to three HP, we should say. About three. So string cheese guy, get on out my game. But yeah, we definitely should have had Trick Room up out and about. Had the Fire Terror, had the chance to use it. I just pulled back from it. I pulled back. I pulled back. I wasn't really expecting them to go into the big time Terror with what's called on the field, with Heatran just chilling there. But he ends up going into these two. I think now is a perfect time to probably just double down into you, right? So I think I'm just going to go here to wrestle you in the Fairy just so a ground move doesn't KO us. And pop another Heat Wave, right? <clears throat> yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So now I'm going to use my terror on my lovely little Heatran. Just so we're not taking insane amount of damage to ground moves. And we'll go from there. Because yeah, ground is four times super effective Heatran. One of Heatran's worst enemies. So that's why that's why he's so good in this game. Just because you're able to terrestrialize and change his typing. The Bleak Wind Storm's going to come out. Heatran's going to be able to dodge, which we love. Which we love. Rock Slide can come out here, but I think a ground move's going to come out here. No, it's going to be Rock Slide. And we're able to soak. No flinches allowed. So far, no flinches. Sludge Bomb, give me poison. Heat Wave. Oh, who you missing, Heat Wave? Who you missing? Who's dodging that? It can't be good. We get a burn, though. That's good. That's massive. That burn's big. That burn is big. So at this point, I'm just going to protect you actually i could double down because we're not gonna die actually yeah we can die i think we just go into heat wave here bleak wind storm and rock slide's not gonna be able to ko us so i'm just gonna protect lando again and hope that heatran can double connect on the heat wave when his turn comes up and we can just go from there the bleak wind storm's gonna come out here heatran can you maybe give me a dodge no you don't get a dodge but you're soaking pretty well hopefully he's going for another rock slide i know he's going for eq oh that might ko us can he soak up the eqs He's burned now. He's burned though, which is huge. I think he should be able to soak this up. Oh, day heat train. Double heat wave. Oh, no, we're missing. Who dodged it? Who dodged it? 
Lando with the double dodge. Well, not Lando. Uh, Tornadus with the double dodge. That's ugly. That's ugly. But I think Talon might end here, which could be good. That's bad, though. I need to get rid of that thing, and I didn't. We might have just lost this game here. But out comes Urshifu. Um, yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. I have mine in the back end, which is pretty solid. Um, but this thing being alive is just a massive problem. I think I at least have to double down in this and try to get rid of it. That's such a big problem. I need I needed this thing dead. If that thing was dead, we probably have a high chance of winning this battle. But Wicked Blow is gonna come out here. We have to have fingers crossed that we dodge this bleak and storm. And we don't. That that hurts, man. Two heat wave misses to probably lose this match. Because now we get to go into Oh, is he gonna tail when that's the real question? Cause I want to sucker punch that thing. I really do want to sucker punch that thing. I really do want to sucker punch. I think that's our only way of winning. I think we kind of read out what they're gonna do first. We might just want to detect this turn. Just, actually, we can't because then he hits through protects. I think our only way of winning is sucker punching this tornado and hoping it's going for bleak and storm, right? Instead of a tailwind. I could close combat. Yeah, honestly, if he's not sash, we could win this. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna close combat him. There's tailwind. Okay, good call for us, because he's gonna outspeed us. He's gonna hit us with a close combat. And we're Sash. So the thing is, if he's not Sash, we KO here. And then we can spam Sucker Punch and finish off the uh, the Tornadus. So as long as he's not Sash, he's going to come down to this item right here. And I believe he's going to be Sash, just like us. Are you Sashed? You're not Sash. You are not Sashed. Hold up. Wait a minute. Now we're just going to spam Sucker Punches, right? How many sucker? We have eight sucker punches. We're gonna spam them all day. We're just gonna spam sucker punch. What a play. What, yo. What a play by our opponent. What a play. What a play. I gotta give a round of applause to my opponent there. Haven't seen that before. That's an awesome way to lose. I'll give it to him all day. Two and one for today's video. Great plays from our opponent at the end there. Great set of matches for today's video. Going two and one and actually losing to a really good play at the end there. Granted, we probably should have won that game regardless because two reasons. We missed two heat waves. Come on, man. That, that really did us dirty. But on top of that, why is he rocking Sandstorm with that Tornadus? That is so weird. But hey, it worked out perfectly for them. And I actually love that we lost that one recording. It's actually a really cool thing to showcase on my videos so guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend the positive day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody